and there's a lot of electronic waste being brought to Ghana here. But due to the way the waste was being processed, it created a bad image for Ghanaians, like what happened in Agbogloshi recently. It made it one of the most toxic places on earth. So we came here together to train technicians for them to understand the hazardous parts of electronics and the valuable parts. According to Jeffrey Adongo, an executive member of the association, technicians can make money while learning how to properly dispose of electrical equipment. So through the training that is being held here, there are some valuable components in the electronics. So some technicians can store a lot of in electronics in their warehouses or in their shops, but they don't know the value in them. So through this training, we teach them that, okay, this component is valuable and you can have an income of such amount. So when you pile it up and you give it to the right channel, you can get money from it. And part of those things are also hazardous. So we also train them on the proper way that they can dismantle them. The technicians have also been taught to wear their protective equipment. And how they can also take care of their own health. You know, some also do soldering with the lead. They don't put on nose marks. They don't have protective equipment. So it also has adverse effects on their health. So this is to help them and help the environment in general. Some of the technicians who took part in the training commended the association for making a such significant contribution. Mm, I can. I can give it, I can give it to some scrap people and take in money. Uh, or I can maybe use my own idea to face it out. Maybe say, I'm going to say, Senke, I buy an answer, I'm crying, 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 beating me, so I'm not training, I'm going to go nationwide. I'm a obia layman crabby to say, Yeah, you know, you know, yet in here and who say no. A DBC, a DBC, oh, yeah, and say, and yet. Oh, see, it will be beating me as soon as I answer, I buy an answer, I'm crying, crabby to me as soon. I'm a sad training, yet in here, go nationwide. And Kabe boy in now, because training I buy, may not mean, and I might be brown, I can't, and I, but you're about training, and who say no. And I might be brown, yeah, yeah, and yet say, yeah, be ye. Fancy be a condemn, your best shishi, and you may be an answer, be disposed, and you may even sometimes also environment. As I say, the values in sir, electronic gadgets are you use in no. As I say, you the values in that demo. No. And I say, yeah, no, I say, yes, you're disposing, not that the environment in the more rough, rough near the other day. Uh -huh. Oh, today I've learned a, a lot more from this program. I'm able, I'm able to learn that. Uh, there's nothing that it's called disposable. Everything can be recycled. So I learned that uh, the, the devices that we have used, the old one, we are not supposed to throw it away that way. We are supposed to send it to the proper disposal place for them to know the pieces, how it's going to help all of us. So that's what I've learned. And I, I also learned that uh, we have uh, electronic waste. Mm -hmm. All this that we are sending, or whenever that our device has spoiled, mm -hmm. we are not supposed to trade away. Mm -hmm. We have to send it to the uh, recycle processes for them to recycle, mm -hmm. for to help us. Because everything that we do, yes. when you give it to those that are coming for the, I don't know the English name, but I can say, uh, condemn, condemn. Mm -hmm. If you give it to them, Maybe if they want to extract the copper, what they do is they, they burn it. And when they burn it, it gives a poisonous gases through the air. And when we, we, all, we, all, we all get diseases, airborne diseases, etc. So giving to the right person that uh, for them not to burn it, but know the right process to extract the valuable and the hazardous one is going to be the, uh, will help all of us. Airport by Mohamed Nuruddin.